Hey, aloha, folks, and welcome to this edition of Five Questions. Of course, an opportunity to speak with candidates seeking office uh, in this election year. And today with our special edition, it's a delight to welcome back Governor Linda Lingle, of course, senatorial candidate for 2012. And uh, Governor, first of all, it's a pleasure to chat with you. How have you been? Aloha, Rick. Great to talk with you. I've been really great out on the campaign trail, really enjoying being back out with people, talking about the issues that are important to them. Excellent. And thanks for joining us for today. And, you know, our first question, pretty much uh, maybe an obvious one, but love to hear the response as, why do you want to serve as a U.S. Senator? I'd like to help to make life better for the people here at home in Hawaii and also contribute to getting our country back on track. Uh, and those issues are, of course, very related because uh, the number one issue in the campaign, both here at home and nationally, is the economy and the need for good jobs to be created. And there is no state more dependent on a vibrant American economy than Hawaii because tourism is our number one industry. If the mainland is not doing well as it is now, it has an impact on us. So I'd like to help make life better here at home make certain that the benefits people have been promised by the government, and that would include veterans' benefits, as well as Social Security and Medicare, that those commitments are kept, but that we also turn our eyes to the next generation and make certain that we make adjustments in programs that will enable them to be there for the younger people. Um, I just want to make life better for everyone here at home, Rick. understand, and thank you for the response. And uh, that leads us to our second question, Governor, and that would be, what really differentiates you from your opponents seeking the same office? I think I'm very different than the other people running because of my experience, uh, my record of leadership, and the tough decisions that I've had to make in public. I don't think any of the other people running have had the same kind of experience. They've never had to stand up on their own and make difficult public decisions. And that's going to be important going forward because tough decisions are the only kinds left in Washington. All the easy decisions have been made. That's how we got into the situation we're in now. So I think there's a clear difference between my time in public life, my experience, my leadership, and the other candidates who really don't have any experience in leadership or in making tough decisions. I've also been the only candidate that has years of experience of working in a bipartisan fashion. And that means being able to get things done, even though I'm not in the majority party. Uh, That means reaching out to others and convincing them of your ideas. Uh, The the candidates on the Democrat side who are running for the United States Senate, they've never had to be bipartisan here at home because they've always been in the majority. So they never had to ask the Republicans for any help. On the other hand, For me to achieve what I have, whether it was in housing for Native Hawaiians or science and technology education in the schools or the Hawaii Clean Energy Initiative, I always had to get Democrats to join with me in moving these good ideas forward. So I think that distinguishes me from the other candidates. And then finally, my experience in the Asia-Pacific region, which is going to be critically important going forward. And my experience is both on the civilian business side and on the military side. Uh, The other candidates don't have my experience or my relationships in the region, and that's going to matter a lot for Hawaii and for America going forward. And uh, dovetailing that, we we talk about challenges quite a bit, uh, Governor, and uh, facing us specifically here in Hawaii, what do you view as our greatest challenge, and how would your role as a U.S. senator be able to assist? Well, I think the challenge for Hawaii has been consistent through my years of service, Rick, and that is how do we continue to have a growing and a vibrant economy while at the same time protecting the environment and protecting our way of life? And this is a delicate balance because in order to have jobs for the next generation, we must have growth and progress. But in in our own lives here at home, We want to maintain what we have. We want to keep a pristine environment. We want to have a quality of life where neighbors know each other and our population isn't so dense that uh, we lose the aloha spirit. 
So I think the challenge today of balancing a strong, healthy, and growing economy with a quality of life that we treasure is by far uh, the greatest challenge for us. I don't think uh, it's different this year. Uh, I think uh, various issues can rise and fall in importance, but this overriding issue of balance between a growing, vibrant economy and maintaining our quality of life and our environment will always be the greatest challenge facing Hawaii. We're talking with uh, Governor Linda Lingle, of course, and she is seeking the office of U.S. Senate. There is a primary coming up August 11th, and then, of course, a general election uh, on November 6th of this year. And I'm on uh, www.lingle2012.com. And, uh, Governor, is that the best place to learn more about your campaign and how folks can help? Yes, uh, lingle2012.com. But you can also come down to our headquarters. We're in the Dillingham Shopping Plaza right behind Sizzler. And it's a terrific place. Everyone is welcome. Come on down and help really fun to be involved in a campaign like this. Well, I think I'm going to come down because you're right behind Sizzler. I mean, (laughs) (laughs) that's great strategic location. (laughs) You know, uh, conversely to our last question, Governor, where we talked about the challenge here at home, as a U.S. Senator, what do you view as our greatest challenge facing us as a nation? Well, I also think at a national level, the economy is the most critical issue that we face, getting our economy growing again, because if the economy is healthy, jobs are being created, it helps us deal with every other issue. But right alongside the economy is the country's national security, the defense of America, the terrorism that's taking place around the world. Uh, This is always going to be a, a challenge for us and especially because Pacific Command is headquartered here in Honolulu, uh, we need to make certain that we are fully resourced and ready at all times. Uh, The world is not a stable place right now, uh, so that is a threat to America. Uh, Iran and their charge to get nuclear weapons capability is a threat to America, but it's a threat to every peace-loving nation on Earth. Iran should not be allowed to get a nuclear weapon capability. And finally, I would say a a great challenge to the country is to deal in a mature way with the deficit and debt issues. Uh, This increasing debt that has taken on the last few years is really a threat to the next generation, Rick. It says to your children and the children of your listeners, we're going to make you pay for the spending we did today. And that really is theft from the next generation. It's not fair. And I think a mature discussion of how we're going to get that annual deficit under control and deal with our long-term debt is a very serious challenge to the nation. And it affects the other issues I mentioned, which is Mm -hmm. having the resources we need over the long term for our country's defense, having a growing economy. If we don't get a serious plan to deal with the debt and deficit, those other areas will be very difficult for us to maintain. Uh, we have a few moments remaining. Uh, Governor, uh, just from the viewpoint of running for U.S. Senate, how do you view the role of a United States senator, and how does it differentiate from the role of a congressperson, and why is the U.S. Senate such an important body in our, in our federal government? Well, the, the U.S. Senate is important because the impact that an individual state can make is so large. Of course, any treaty that America makes with another nation has to be approved by the United States Senate. All of the appointments to the federal courts, including the U.S. Supreme Court, uh, go through the United States Senate. So the, the Senate has special powers that influence our lives here in Hawaii and all across America. Of course, the Senate is much smaller than the House. There are only 100 members, and each state gets two United States senators. So it doesn't matter if you're California and you have more than 30 million people, Mm -hmm. or you're Hawaii and you have 1.3 million people, you still get the same two United States senators, and that gives our state a very big voice in Washington, D.C. Now, as you know, in the United States Senate, sometimes the Republicans are in control, Sometimes the Democrats are in control. It's in our interest here at home to always have a foot in both camps. And that means it wouldn't matter to us 
which party's in control, because one of our senators is from that majority party. Uh, that's very important to keep in mind, I think, while voting in this election. Rick, I hope to bring a, a fresh approach to Washington, D.C. Uh, the people who have been in Washington and have been serving are not the ones who are going to solve this. I think bringing a, a fresh set of eyes to the, to the problems we face is going to be very important. As you know, I'm not a Washington insider. I've never served in the Congress, but I have been in leadership in our state for a long time. People here at home know me well, and they know that I put the people first. Uh, that's not just a campaign motto. That is how I've governed during all my time as the mayor of Maui and as the governor of Hawaii. I don't put my party ahead of the public. I don't put my personal career ahead of the public. I always put people first. And that's going to be very important going forward because there will be times when I won't be able to agree with my political party. Uh, but I'll do what I think is in Hawaii's interest and in America's interest. So this election is very important because this opportunity to vote for an open seat for the United States Senate happens only once every 25 years throughout our history as a state. We've only had five U.S. senators since we became a state. So this is a very unique election because it doesn't happen very often and because it gives us a chance to bring about some balance in our delegation. I mean, the, the House is going to stay Republican. The U.S. Senate could go Republican. Mm -hmm. And although President Obama is very popular here at home, uh, nationally, the race is a toss-up right now. So we don't want to have a delegation in Washington that's just one political party, because we could become isolated if the Republicans do gain a majority in the United States Senate. So again, having a foot in both camps, where you have Senator Inouye, who's got a lot of seniority and experience, and having me, who has a lot of experience here at home and has a record of achievement here at home, but would be of the other party, is really the best of all possible worlds for the people here at home, because you'd have a foot in both camps. And regardless of who the majority was, Republican or Democrat, we have someone in that majority party right. representing us. Governor Linda Lingle joining us for this edition of Five Questions. We can't thank you enough, Governor, for taking the time today, and I know we'll have a chance to chat a little bit later. And again, Lingle 2012, that's the uh, that's the website address, best place to go? Yes, that's great. All great right. Pick. Well, Gov, thanks so very much. Uh, next time we'll talk about movies and your picks for best movie of 2012. <laughs> I haven't seen a movie lately. Right? I, I was, <laughs> was going to say. Have a, have a great week. Thanks a lot. Same to you. Thanks so much, and we'll talk soon. Take care. Aloha. Aloha. Bye now.